1941, His Majesty's British forces directly or indirectly control all provinces that form modern-day India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. On a quiet street, a car is parked near the rear entrance of a house. A man walks out of the house and enters the car. He is dressed in a long brown closed collar coat, baggy trousers and is wearing a black fez on his head. He has a thick beard and wears gold wire rimmed glasses. The car shoots off into the darkness, avoiding the main city thoroughfares and possible police checkpoints. The car moves along by lanes and back alleys heading out of the city. Many hours later that day, it arrives at the railway station of a small town. The Howrah Peshawar 63 up Kalkamil arrives. The man gets on the train and disappears. He will return to India after a few years with a plan. But who was this man? Why all the secrecy? Where was he going? The railway station in question is in a town called Gomo, roughly 300 kilometers west of Calcutta, which today is in the Indian state of Tarka. On one of the platforms is a memorial to this historical event. Under a bronze bust of the man is a plaque which reads, From this station, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose boarded a train on his historic escape on 18th January 1941. This is the story of Netaji, one of the foremost patriots of India and his part in the historic struggle for Indian independence.